Mid Journey V5 versus Stable Diffusion. An in depth comparison. Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion are two of the most fascinating image generating artificial intelligence text to image algorithms that are currently accessible. They make it really simple to produce artwork that looks fantastic using only a few text prompts as input. But which is the greatest AI art program for you to use if you want to create some fresh AI art for your Dungeons and Dragons character portrait or some concept art for anything you're working on? In the argument between Stable Diffusion and mid-journey, which approach is more successful? Let's have a look at these two different deep learning technologies to discover which one would be more beneficial for you. Both Stable Diffusion and mid-journey are comparable programs in the sense that they use text instructions to generate attractive graphics made by artificial intelligence. Nevertheless, these two programs have very different feature sets and there are perks and drawbacks to using either one. The choices for customizing the image in Stable Diffusion are significantly more in-depth. You have the ability to customize the image size all the way down to the individual pixel. Choose how strictly the AI should follow your prompts, set the seed value, and choose which samplers are used to feed the AI engine. There are hundreds of art models to choose from, all of which help to develop diverse art styles based on your prompts. Even while you can change the aspect ratio and select which generation of Midjourney's algorithm to employ, it does not provide nearly as much variety or as many possibilities as Stable Diffusion does. Midjourney only has a few tens of different model variants. Further comparing the two, Stable Diffusion has been available to the public since August 2022, whereas Midjourney has been available on Discord Bot released in July 2022. The local usage for Stable Diffusion can be run locally on PC or Mac with at least 4 GB VRAM, whereas Midjourney is accessible through Discord Bot on your server. The cloud usage for Stable Diffusion is available via various cloud services, but for Midjourney, it's not primarily designed for local PC usage. Stable Diffusion is not open to beta testing, whereas Midjourney is. Both offer text-to-image generation. The image size on Stable Diffusion is customizable down to individual pixels, whereas on Midjourney, the aspect ratio and generation options are available. Stable Diffusion offers seed value selection, and samplers for AI feeding can be customizable. However, seed value selection and samplers for AI feeding are not mentioned in Midjourney. Stable Diffusion offers hundreds of art models, whereas Midjourney offers a few tens of model variants. Stable Diffusion offers diverse art styles based on prompts, however, Midjourney has a limited variety in possibilities compared to Stable Diffusion.